Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and I appreciate you guys watching Joe Boo's Day Job. I'm actually here working on a rental property, a property that needed a whole lot of work. And we've gone through, we've had to uh, literally level out the floors. The sill plate rotted out in here, so we've had to replace some woodworking and things in here. We've gone through and had to relay uh, some of the floor joists and places and things because it's a 120-year-old house. And I love working on places. I, I hate seeing houses torn down that should be fixed because right now the price of real estate has gone through the roof. And if you are a do-it-yourselfer, um, if you are a construction person, if you are thinking about having you know, your deck redone, right now it's been really, really expensive buying building materials. But I think I actually have some good news as far as materials go on the front. If you've done anything in the last year or so, you know about the price of materials. It's crazy how high it's been. We literally had two by fours for a while there, almost $12 for a two by four, when they used to be about $249. Fortunately, they have come down some, and looking at the lumber futures, um, we hit a peak of about $1,300 um, for the thousand board feet um, cost which is almost triple what it normally is. It's since stabilized now, right now, yesterday with the stock market and everything going down, um, closing in around $800. So we're down literally about $500 on there already. And already, if you've watched some of the other videos that I've done, some of the materials have actually already started to come down. This is actually legacy um, three quarter inch OSB. Um, this for a while was $96 a sheet. Right now it's down to about 56. Still kind of high, but the price of it's coming down. If you are watching the news, there's a couple of problems with the reason why the materials have been so high. The demand for housing because of the pandemic. A lot of people have decided, I don't need to be in a big city because we're working from home. And people are moving out further. So places that had not had much growth as far as real estate goes further out, way out in the suburbs, outer suburbs, now people are flocking to. A lot of people, for example, in New York City are moving to like the Eastern Shore and stuff and buying acreage there and they don't care how much money they spend on it. So the housing market has been fire hot, especially with interest rates being low. Well, the Fed's just raised it up a half a percent. In the short term, that's going to make the frenzy even faster because people are going to think the interest rates are going to continue to go up, so I need to hurry up and buy now. So at the moment, what you're going to see is you're going to see a hot real estate market get even hotter. But part of the other reason why the materials have been high is because it's a confluence of everything going on. When you think about the war in Ukraine, for example, Baltic birch comes from Baltic, okay? And none of that's coming through. If you're looking for Baltic birch, good luck at finding it because all the supply houses are out of it. When you think about maple and birch uh, plywood other than the Baltic birch, most of that comes from Canada. The tariffs were raised during the Trump administration as well as the warmer winters have allowed the beetles not to get killed. The beetles have been eating the forest. So, of course, then that's reduced some of the yield of the trees and things. As well as having the pandemic, it was harder to get labor to be able to go through with the sawmills to do that stuff. Okay, so we've had all of these things go around. Now, after the Fed ended up raising interest rates, that's going to slow the breaks down on some of the building and stuff on there. It's going to get people to go ahead and say, okay, the price is coming down. And as the stock market's gone down, like I said, the lumber futures closed at 818, the lowest it's been in quite a while, which eventually will translate into more and more of that lumber price going down. To give you an example, the <clears throat> 7 16th OSB two weeks ago was 46.99. Down here in Central Virginia, it's down to 34. That's $12 off in like two and a half weeks. So expect to see some more of that happening again. This was 54, I believe, or $56 this past week. Uh, two weeks ago, it was $76. So that's some relief that is coming our way. Expect that to happen. And hopefully, hopefully in the very near future, the war in Ukraine will go ahead and die.
that that'll be gone and that will open up those markets again. And with the interest rates going up slightly and the, the Fed is going to continue to go up, that'll slow down some of the demand. And as the demand goes down some, the prices will go down. But here's the thing about real estate. If you want to make money in real estate, it's one of those things that you look at for the long term. There's so many people that are into flipping, you know, they want to buy a house and immediately flip it and sell it. Well, there's a couple problems with flipping a house is if you don't reinvest the money that you make on it immediately, you're going to play high capital gains. So you need to keep it for a little bit longer. The second thing is you want to buy the worst house in the best neighborhood you can, because if you are selling, you want to be able to put some equity into it. But the way you really make money in real estate is not when you sell it. It's when you buy it because it's what you buy, pay for cost wise. That's going to be what you make out of it in the end. If you're buying it low, you want to sell it high. And ultimately <clears throat> rental properties, if you are a do it yourself or and can do a lot of the work in the long term are the way to really create wealth. The reality is, is if you can end up buying a place, and somebody else is paying the mortgage basically with the rent with a little bit left over all of your expenses, your interests and things are things you can deduct in your taxes. And as far as then, as you're paying on that mortgage and that price that you owe goes down and as the real estate market grows, it's like putting money in the stock market because that's an investment for the long haul. So that's what I've got as far as financial news, as far as real estate goes. Um, I remember a wise man once said to me, the good Lord, he ain't making no more dirt. So you better get some of it while you can. I'm Mark Holmes and well, I hope you're having a great day. I'll see you guys soon.